Hi, Nico from Voice Law here. Um, in this video, I will go over a new uh, code that we are sharing on our main repo. Um, so this is to help some of you that want to fetch all the content from one website, Italy want to fetch all the, um, the URL from, from that website. So meaning that uh, you start with one URL as a source and uh, the crawler will go over all the available next link and uh, and fetch the content from there. So to do that, I forked the uh, existing GPT crawler, uh, which is uh, already a, a good uh, a good example. And uh, I uh, encourage you to to check that uh, repository uh, because again, most of this code is is coming from there. Uh, what I've done um, to to update this and why I choose to fork instead of just using this code is the first, uh, the uh, GPT crawler, um, as the name uh, sounds like, um, it's made for uh, GPT and mostly assistant. So it will generate one big file with multiple uh multiple item or multiple content within that one file. And this is not what we want, at least uh, to populate our knowledge base in VoiceFlow. Instead, for each article or each pages we are fetching, we want to upload a new doc. So I've tweaked the code to not only do this, um, so uh, again, instead of uh, saving that in one file, pushing in each new page to the knowledge base as text. So you can edit this content within the knowledge base in VoiceFlow. But we are also, instead of fetching the text value, uh, which is the, the default with uh, the uh, original code, we are instead getting the uh, HTML. And why? Because we want to convert that into Markdown, simply because uh, based on my test, Markdown is better to uh, generate clean documents that you want to upload into your VoiceFlow knowledge base. So again, we will use this to, based on one URL as a source, fetch as much pages as possible based on the available links on that website, convert the content to Markdown, and upload each page, each article to your knowledge base as a text. One more thing is, as you can see, um, you can use a selector, which is pretty handy, because whenever you are on, on a web page, you most likely don't want to fetch everything. In, in that example here, I don't want that side bar, uh, the left one, neither the, the, the stuff I have here, um, so the table of contents on the right, or the, the header, or the footer. So, what you can do instead is uh, when you know which uh, website you want to fetch, go to one of the page and use the dev tool to select what you want. So here, for example, I'm going to select this. So you can see it's part of the uh, uh, article. So the article is uh, everything up to uh, the bottom here. But in my case, I just want up to this. I don't really need this or this. Uh, so from right there to uh, to the bottom. So to do that, I can go under here and see we do have a div here that is just what we need. If, again, if I go to the bottom, it stopped right there. And this is what we want. So I can right click, copy, fix path. And now if I passed it there, that was the uh, original value. Uh, I just need to escape this, but this is this is the X path. So each time we go on to, uh, on a new page, we will only get or extract the content from there, convert that to Markdown, upload that to the voice flow um, to our voice flow knowledge base. Okay, so let's run a test. Here I'm on a brand new agent. Nothing is uh, in my knowledge base yet. So what I will do, uh, and I'm using, you can see on the, 
on the readme you have multiple ways to run this you can run this as an app you can run this as a container you can also use a client or an api in my case i'm going to run this as an api so npm run start server it's running on port uh, 3000 for me and uh, i just need to use the call endpoint and pass this um, this JSON. So the URL. So let's uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, the URL we want we are targeting match is what we want from that first URL. What do we want to match? So for example, if here we can link to section or category, we don't really want that. We want to be uh, to focus on the article. So I just limit that to doc and uh, again we are using the selector we've just get from the uh, xpath uh, max patch to call uh, let's we don't need that much i think we have 40 pages here uh, wait for a selector timeout this is how much time we want to wait for the patch to load and uh, get access to that if it exists uh, the vf ip ip and the project id so if i run this you can see that um, so this code used uh, playwright in the background and you can see that we are already fetching and also uploading. Uh, this is the pending status from the KD uh, document API. And we are populating the knowledge base. And we can double check that by refreshing here. And you can see we start having the document. So if I go to customize the webshot, this is my content. This is in Markdown. So we, we have all the, uh, the link uh, you can see here. Uh, same for the images. And uh, we have the chunks as well. But the good thing is, because we've uploaded this as a text, I can edit this content. So that's it, 40 uh, documents. So we should, if we refresh, we should have that. Give this a try. Uh, this is still work in progress, but I uh, wanted to share that with you and uh, make that available on our repo. So hopefully that will help you with the, uh, the way you are populating the, the knowledge base. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.